Hi guys, so I'm gonna start reading the studies weekly in a video. So this week, it's week 25, it says at the top. So when you go to do the assessment or the quiz, it, it says 25, week 25 at the top, okay? Um, this edition is called Treat Everyone Fairly. Imagine that you cannot see or hear. What would your life be like? Helen Keller could not see or hear, but she never gave up. She graduated from college and wrote 11 books. She always wanted to be treated the same as everyone else. In 1964, President Lyndon B. Johnson gave her a very special honor. It was the Medal of Freedom. The Medal of Freedom is the highest honor a US citizen can receive. So just remember, we like to note the important parts. So even though she couldn't see or hear she graduated from college and wrote 11 books. So I would have that underlined. And then she also got the Medal of Freedom. I would underline that too. So now we'll turn the page and open it up. It says treat everyone fairly again at the top. And then we have Helen Keller working for equal rights. Young Helen Keller. That's the new heading. Helen Keller was born on June 27th, 1880. She and her family lived in Alabama. When Helen was almost two years old, she got very sick. She became blind and deaf. That means she could not see or hear. And Helen meets Anne is the new heading. A wonderful person named Anne Sullivan came to teach Helen when she was six. She taught Helen to spell words with hand signs. The first word Helen learned was water. Many people did not believe Helen could ever learn to talk, but with Anne's help, she did. So Anne never gave up on her, right? She never gave up on Helen Keller, and Helen Keller was blind and deaf. And she was taught hand signs, how to spell words with hand signs by Ann Sullivan. Okay. And down here it says, what are equal rights? When people talk about equal rights, it means everyone should be treated the same. Everyone should have a chance to get a good education and a good job. Everyone should be treated fairly. Their race, religion, gender, and abilities should not matter. So that's something that Helen Keller fought for. Here we did the braille writing with our names, do you remember? So read the dots. How can you read if you can't see the words? If you know braille, you can feel the words with your fingers. Braille is like a code that uses raised dots on a page. At first, the words may look like a bunch of bumps. Once you know the code, it's like reading any other book. And then here this little girl says, what should you do when someone tells you they are sorry? You should accept their apology. You can say, it's okay, I know you didn't mean it. When you say that, you are forgiving your friend. Forgiving someone means that you are not angry anymore. So when someone tells us that we're sorry, we should accept their apology, right? and try to forgive them. Here it has, Helen becomes a leader. Helen was the first blind and deaf person ever to graduate from college. Helen believed that everyone should have the same rights. She gave speeches all over the world about the rights of people who have different abilities. Helen worked hard to make life better for blind and deaf people everywhere. So her speeches were all about people having the right, the rights of the people with different abilities, right? She fought for people that were like her, that couldn't see or hear and made sure that they were treated fairly. So on the back, it says, what would you do? Your team just won the big game. One of the kids on your team calls the other team a bunch of losers. You know that good sports should not say things that could hurt other people's feelings. 
what would you do? So you could do things like tell the other team that that's not nice and that hurts your feelings. Um, you could also ignore them, knowing that you get that your team is not losers. Um, or and knowing that the other team is not losers. You could also talk to the other team and tell them that you don't think they're losers and that it was a great game and that you're playing to have fun, right? And we can fill in the blinks here. Helen Keller was born in, do you remember? Alabama or Florida? That's right, Alabama. When blind people use braille, they blank the words. Well, blind people can't see, so they feel the words. Plus, braille was the bumps, right? The code of letters that are bumps. The first sign language word Helen Keller learned was water or teacher. Well, do you guys remember that video? And the first time she realized that her hand signals meant words is when she was at the water fountain getting water. So water was her first word. Helen Keller was the first blind and deaf person to graduate from college, not high school. She graduated from that too, but she was the first blind and deaf person to graduate from college. And then you, you guys know that my favorite rule is the golden rule. The golden rule says to treat everyone the way you want to be treated. Draw a picture of a time you followed the golden rule. So I will let everybody do their own work for that. And I hope you enjoyed having this read to you. Hopefully it helps a little, okay? Happy learning, friends.